Hello there, I'm Big Alias. I've got coffee. I've got coffee. Welcome to Mafia. The Mafia. Friggin' your mother. <laughs> Welcome to Mafia, the definitive edition. You know, um, I, I played Mafia 3. I, I've played this in a weird order because I haven't touched 2 yet. I played 3 a couple of years ago. And now I'm playing definitive edition. <coughs> Excuse me, because it's on Game Pass. Um, so I thought I'd give it a shot, you know, because I liked 3, I, th I thought 3 was alright, I, I had some issues with it, but I still think it was a very cool game, very brazen of them to make a game like set in the 70s. A um, couple of issues here and there, and I wanted to see if those were addressed here, obviously it's, it's remastered, so the <laughs> issues could be even worse to be honest with you. So, I will say, having played uh, Mafia Definitive Edition now, uh, Mafia 3, it makes me like 3 less. Because there are, like, things that are way better here that would have been way better in the original game, I think. Now, I will say that I haven't played the original, so I can't compare the original to the remaster. But there are a couple of bits, yeah, that I think were handled better here than they were with Mafia 3. But surely with Mafia 1 compared to 3, you know, they would have had time to figure out a better system. Um, than what they had. I think the biggest thing uh, is the mission structure, which was my biggest issue with Mafia 3, um, which was, unfortunately, Mafia 3 was a sort of sign of, it, uh, of its times, and um, it had this issue that a lot of games had back then, particularly open world games, where it was like, oh yeah, collect numbers, and then once you've collected enough numbers, you can get to go to the next zone. Uh, and it sucked, because you just ended up doing the same missions over and over again in order to build your numbers up and uh, move on through the game. Whereas with Mafia 1, GTA baby, this is GTA in the 30s, don't worry about it, you know. <laughs> you just go to your mission and you do a mission. There's a cutscene, there's some gameplay, uh, and that's it. That's the mission structure for Mafia uh, Definitive Edition, which I think is great. I, I think it's a way better approach to uh, mission design than, um, you know, that of uh, Mafia 3. <laughs> you couldn't speak then. And one thing I will say I'm very impressed by is the, the missions themselves, actually. Uh, going from an open world to these, you know, more linear missions, um, excuse me, is, uh, is great. I mean, it's, you know, it's seamless going from the open world to the missions, but the missions themselves are, are very good. They're not just like, go to this zone and capture it f uh, for these people, for, for, for the rebellion. Um, you know, it's, it's actual missions. If you're in a big, if you have to like travel to a big building, then that building is a big building and there's lots of um, areas for you to cover in, to shoot in, and stuff like that. And then once you're done with the mission, you're probably gonna end up with a high speed chase. And that's really cool too. All set in a beautiful world. I would say that the biggest strength of Mafia 3 is also the biggest strength of Definitive Edition here. And that's the world, which is drop dead gorgeous. It is a beautiful world, very good graphically, but it's also just very convincing. It's a very convincing 30s world and quite immersive. And I overall just think that the the, the overall look of, of this game is very, like, lovely, <laughs> very loving and poured over. Like, they really did want to make a very cool gangster, mobby 30s uh, a game, like a GTA style game. And I think they did it well. The cars are so like perfectly detailed uh, to really feel like those 30 cars, 30s cars. And they unfortunately handle like cars from the 30s, which is uh, the first big issue. I understand wanting the game to feel real and authentic, but goddamn, driving is annoying in this game. It doesn't feel great. It's very heavy and swimmy and like, it's like steering a goddamn ship every time you drive in this game. And again, I understand I think it was intentional, I, I think it was to keep things authentic, but uh, I just don't like driving in this game. And there are straight up missions where it's just race, race the car, it, it, it literally on a circuit. Um, and that's that's quite annoying when your car feels like that, like, like goddamn Titanic. Um, that can be annoying. And I will say, while we're talking about issues, um, it is quite glitchy, quite buggy. Somehow they didn't manage to iron out the issues for Mafia 3. I think this may be running a similar engine um, because I'm noticing a lot of the bugs and glitches that were are absolutely rife in, uh, ma uh, in Mafia 3. Um, and also I think like there's an approach to gameplay that's similar to Red Dead 2 where everything's quite slow um, and I think like intentionally heavy and a little bit clunky which at times is cool because it allows you to like soak everything in. And I, I think, you know, given uh, a game of its time, I, I just feel like a slower aesthetic would work, just like it does in Red Dead Redemption. Everything's quite a bit slower in Red Dead than GTA, let's say that. But uh, there are times when this game should be faster and the animations should be more responsive and they're just not. 
Um, I, I feel as though also this is like a completely independent gripe, but um, shooting one bullet with the pistol and then moving on to the next one, you can't fire two bullets without like waiting for the second one to close in your crosshair. Stuff like that, you know, little bits like that just make the game feel a bit uh, more clunky in, in aid of making it feel authentic. And that's an issue for me, you know. Um, I also would say that it isn't like... There's nothing groundbreaking here. There's nothing you haven't experienced here. Just a great world with great characters and an excellent story, brilliant storytelling, some great soundtrack work. Again, it's authentic music, so you're gonna get 30s music, which I love and I think is great. I don't love 30s music, but I love that they stuck to that aesthetic. The game has a lot of charm and some and some good writing. Uh, the buildings and structures are all just as authentic as I said the cars were. Uh, there's even like a, a, a Chinatown area, and that's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of like following people around, but as the game progresses, it gets more action-packed and more intense and you begin using like Tommy guns and shotguns and there's a lot of like corridor shooting, cover shooting and it, for the most part, actually feels pretty good. I'm assuming that they fixed a lot from Mafia 1 here because the shooting actually feels pretty great. I talked about how I didn't like the shooting in GTA 4 the other day. This actually uses a, not a similar system, but not too far off, but it's kind of what I wanted the GTA system to be in GTA 4. GTA 5's shooting is almost perfect. But yeah, the shooting is actually pretty good here. The weapons feel good to shoot and the combat is challenging. It's definitely challenging. There's like a litany of fucking Molotov cocktails that get thrown at you all the time. You know, it can be frustrating, but it keeps the game challenging. Um, and so, yeah, I like the combat. Not as big a fan of the driving, um, but I do like the combat. I like the fact that they have this system where in order to get away from the police, you can drive to certain areas and create like these roadblocks or slow them down. I think that's a really cool system too. Just overall, I just think like it's, it's nothing for the history books or nothing particularly like overly inventive, but it was never going to be. It is a remaster of, of Mafia 1, but even treating this as a new game, I think it's very good and I've had a very good time with this. Um, an excellent story and uh, an excellent immersive world. So let's give it a score. And I think, I think that's a very, a very fair score um, and I'm happy with the game. So I would recommend it. It's on Game Pass now if you want it. And if not, they currently have a sale on where you get Mafia 1 Definitive Edition, Mafia 2 Definitive Edition, and Mafia 3, and all of Mafia 3's DLC for £8. So Mafia 3's a pretty good game, and this is even better. So I would probably recommend that deal as well. But if you just want to know what it's like, Game Pass is always there. And I will see everyone later. PlayStation is only $149, and you can also get leading titles.